Adjusting the color of video footage can be viewed as a technical process or a process designed to help set the mood and create the feeling in a shot. I'll start things off by coming over to the right side of the timeline and scrubbing with the current time indicator. So click on the current time indicator and drag back and forth across the timeline to preview different areas of the image. And you can see no matter where I am in the timeline, I've actually got kind of a cool shot. There are lots of green pixels and lots of blue pixels. Now I'd like to warm this up to make it look a little bit more like sunset in the evening. To do that, I'll select the layer in the timeline and go up under the effect menu, go down to color correction, and choose Lumetri Color. Let's work in the basic correction area, so open up those options, and then go down to the white balance area. Notice it's divided up into three sections. If you don't see white balance open, make sure to toggle open the triangle. Now the white balance selector is kind of special. If you had a shot where there were clearly pixels that were supposed to be white, say someone wearing a white shirt, you could click on the eyedropper and then click directly on the white pixels in the composition panel and the white balance would automatically adjust to make those pixels white. Since we don't have anything like that in this shot, we're just going to use the temperature and tint settings. So I'll start with temperature. If you hover over the parameter and click and drag to the right, we can scrub and that'll warm up the shot. The further you go to the right, the warmer it will get. Now I think this is a little too far, so I'll bring my temperature setting back to a setting somewhere around 120. While this looks okay, let's see if we can make some more adjustments with tint. Now the tint area isn't adjusting the white balance in the shot, it's actually adjusting the difference between the magenta pixels and the green pixels. So if I click and drag to the right, I'm making the image a little more magenta. If I click and drag to the left, I'm making the image a little more green. Let's go ahead and drag to the right, and we really don't need a lot of this to just warm up the shot. So I'll set the tint setting to 7. Now if we scrub through our project, you can see we've definitely warmed up that shot. Now I think I like how this looks, but honestly, I find whenever I'm working on something as subjective as color adjustments, it's sometimes wise to get up and walk away from the computer for a little bit. Just creating that small break can often give you some fresh perspective before creating your final output.